Hey everybody, this is Trey with Rougarou Lacrosse. Uh, I know I haven't done a video in about a year at this point, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and give an update, and I'm also going to show you what's in my gear bag, so what I normally use uh, when I'm in cage, just in case you were curious. Uh, think of it as kind of like a bonus segment, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so update. I know I haven't put out a video in a while. The reason for that is I've been really, really busy. Um, switched jobs, got a new coaching job, uh, process plan a wedding getting married a lot of stuff on the plate so I haven't really been able to dive in and do what I want to do with this um, and I do want to continue doing this I do want to continue doing like maybe at least a weekly thing maybe if I get some interesting gear stuff like that uh, I do have a couple of pieces of gear that I do want to kind of talk about and do a review on later on down the line um, but overall just you know trying to get back in it I guess um, you know, down here in Louisiana, we just uh, ended our, well, the high school season ended in May. Um, new champion, actually, this year, which is really, really good to see. Uh, we're starting to get more parity in Louisiana, which is good. Uh, more teams stepping up. Uh, you know, the team that had been on top for years finally lost a regular season game. Hadn't lost a regular season game in like five years, at least not in state. Uh, in that span, won those state titles. And... Uh, another team finally dethroned them so that was uh that was good to see for the state of you know louisiana is really good we have more teams stepping up which actually uh the team that i just joined and started coaching last year i'm no longer coaching i will be starting up a new team at a local high school here uh the vice principal reached out to me and uh they want to get together a program and i thought that would be fantastic especially the fact that it seems like the school is 100 percent on board which means we're going to actually get um we're going to get to use facilities. We're going to get to do the things that we need to do. Uh, for Louisiana, we're sitting in this weird, um, this weird in-between phase with a lot of states where it's growing, where we have a high school league. It's still all club. It's not officially high school sport because uh, we just don't have the numbers of teams yet. I think we're at 25, maybe 28. We need 50. Um, our league's actually bigger than that, but we have some border uh, teams out of both Texas and Mississippi who have joined in our league, especially, I mean, the Mississippi guys just don't have enough for their own uh, right now. So we're making our league bigger by getting those uh, guys that are right there on the border of the states. Um, so that helps us out as far as that goes. But overall, Louisiana lacrosse is looking good. Uh, we just ended, uh, the men here, the Nolsey guys just ended their indoor season. We do indoor in the summer because it's too hot to go outside and try to play. Uh, so we're kind of opposite of everybody else. But uh, my team did take it this year, which was good. Uh, championship is really really probably the most competitive summer we've had so far at least in the five years I've been here easily the most competitive I mean our last place team didn't really get blown out hardly at all in a lot of games most of their games were you know two one two three goal losses uh, where in the past our last place team pretty much was blowouts um, here and there so uh, that was good to see there wasn't a whole lot of separation there um, and that's good I mean I like that the level of competition's gotten up I know a lot of our guys in the league have been really happy about the new level of competition as well. Um, so that's good because that's bringing that here to Louisiana. Uh, part of the reason why it stepped up is, uh, you know, we just have more guys playing, more guys that have experience, and it's just taken off. You know, the kind of average age has dropped a little bit. I still like my old guys in there. They're a lot of fun. They can teach you stuff even now. Um, but, you know, the younger guys have kind of upped that level of competition. So that's good to see. Um, you know, going into this next season, as far as high school, everybody's kind of got their guns going now. You know, they uh, we've got new teams. Uh, like I said, more people are stepping up. More teams are getting better. We're getting more coaches. We're getting better coaches. Um, it's not just relying upon people reading books about lacrosse. It's people who've actually played before uh, and really know and understand the game that are starting to coach these kids. Uh, kudos to those people that stepped in and really, you know, tried their best to coach these kids with a game that they've never even seen. They've never played, but, you know, they wanted to give the kids a chance to play it. So uh, I do want to say thank you to those guys, but it's great that we're getting that coaching uh, finally in this state. So uh, that's kind of my update, and let's go to the gear bag. I'm going to cut gear bag. All right, this is my gear bag. Uh, it is an Easton gear bag. I picked it up a few years ago, uh, and it's actually been one of the best gear bags I've ever had. Lots of good compartments. There's a compartment for your helmet, compartment for your cleats, two side compartments, um, as well as these nifty little stick sleeves for your sticks to go in. Um, nice and compact. I really like this bag. Um, you know, I really, really wish Easton didn't jump out so fast. 
of the game because they made some good stuff. I mean, I know they were they were a mixed bag. They had some good things, they had some bad things, but the things they were good at, they made really good. Uh, this bag is one of them. So uh, let's go first off to the helmet. So this is my Cascade R. Uh, as you can see, Null C on the side. Uh, we are Mardi Gras colors. Got that gold chroma chromium, chromium, chromium face mask. Um, just your typical R. I've had it for about four years. Uh, it is no longer going to be pulling goalie duty. Uh, as you can see, I have a little crack right there in the chin. I know some of you are like, oh yeah, big deal. Well, it's a big deal to me. Um, you know, I'm uh, getting older. I really need my brains and everything to work really well because I have to go to my regular job to pay the bills. So when my helmet start to, this helmet, you know, starting to show some signs of fatigue, I really am going to retire it as far as from a goalie standpoint. The last thing I need is a 90 mile an hour ball breaking my jaw. So um, not going to have that happening. Um, so that is the helmet. I know you're asking, where's the chin guard? You got to have a chin guard. Well, as you saw, it did fall off and I did have to pick it up. Uh, I use this tie on Bauer hockey chin guard that is used to be very gold and shiny and mirrored. Um, I love the tie-on chin guards over the bolt-on, mainly because I can take it on and off quickly if I want to play field or goalie, but also I can switch helmets quickly with it, um, you know, and, and it's, it's more freedom. I had a problem with the bolt-on ones really kind of uh, getting jammed up and uh, getting caught in a face mask. I've seen it happen to other goalies. This does not happen with this when you get it adjusted properly. Um, and I just really prefer these over everything else that I've used. Um, it doesn't get hung up on my pads. Uh, it's really like it's not there until it actually takes the ball. So that's good. Um, on to the next bit of gear is gonna be my chest pad. Now this is a new chest pad for me. I just got it uh, at the beginning of this indoor season. Uh, we don't use big box pads here for indoor. We just use our regular stuff. Like I said, it's hot, it's still hot inside. Um, and a lot of us don't wanna go out and drop the money on uh, those big indoor pads. A lot of us don't have the money to drop on it, truthfully, because um, they're just hard to come by down here anyway. Now, uh, this pad, I used to use an Easton pad, believe it or not, uh, that I liked a lot. I still really like it, but it was time to get a new one. Uh, reason why I needed to get a new one is, uh, pretty much with goalie pads, I, I keep using them until I start getting bruising through the padding. Uh, my Easton one at the beginning, of this season actually I played one game with it uh, before I went and picked this one up I took a ball right to the chest and I had a nice big bruise through the padding to me time to go uh, this pads actually pretty nice um, it's smaller than the Easton one but it's it's got some hard plating in it uh, it saved me on a few really really hard shots to the chest so um, definitely like that padding uh, and I do recommend this This is the Adidas EQZ uh, or EQZ EQT Berserk uh, Berserk pad uh, onto the gloves. Now, uh, these gloves are a little interesting. Um, they got rams on them, as you can see. Uh, this glove in particular, I actually got this on eBay. I was looking for a pair of gloves. Uh, since we are Mardi Gras colors, I wanted to try to go with that theme. Uh, and I found these. These were some college or high school or whatever uh, extra set they have. They were brand new. They were still in the packaging when I got them. I got them for like 40 bucks. Uh, I love these gloves. I really like the thumb on them. Um, I'm really picky about my thumbs on goalie gloves. I like to have a lot of dexterity. I don't like the big stiff thumb. Um, I've taken plenty of balls off the thumb. No issues there. Um, but I really like these and they have done the job so far. All right. Now on to my cleats. I'm only going to pull one out. Uh, Warrior Burn 8s. I actually just got them at the beginning of this season. Um, our local academy sports had them for 20 bucks. I think actually 18 something. Uh, so that was a steal for cleats. And these things are fantastic. Um, as many of you know, Warriors owned by New Balance. So these are basically New Balance cleats. They have Warrior branding, uh, but they're really, really good solid cleats. Uh, to the inside of my gear bag, or you can see there's a lot of extra stuff in here. I got, you know, pennies. I also have a bunch of random odd and end padding. Um, just real light padding. I basically use that throughout the indoor season as I get really bad. Um, you know, bruises over shin, things like that, because it is a closer, uh, you know, much closer range, and you're going to get hit. It's not all going to be saves with your hands. Um, I kind of cover them for a week or two, and then I'm good. You know, give them time to heal. Uh, back in the day, I didn't think to do that. I really wish I did. But, you know, just random odd and then padding, you know, a shin guard here. Um, that's pretty much it as far as that padding goes. Um, 
I know a lot of goalies wonder, what do you use to protect uh, your special region? Um, I use the Nutty Buddy. Uh, I have used this thing since it came out, so going on, I guess, close to 10 years now. Uh, about eight years, I think, is when it came out. I think I picked one up in 2008 or 2009. Uh, this is not the original one. This is a new one. Uh, for you guys that don't want a actual goalie pad, like uh, like a goalie, uh, like the Warrior Nut Hut, uh, not the Nut Hut, the Toolbox, or like a hockey goalie because it's just too big and bulky or they're uncomfortable, this is a really, really, really good option. Um, it's kind of weird. It takes some getting used to, and you do have to make sure that it stays uh, in place as far as tight to your body but it saved me time and time again um so shout out to that company because they make a good product uh watch their product video because that's what made me a believer in this if that guy was willing to take the 90 mile an hour without flinching um you know he's got a decent product or at least he stands behind it however uh it's it still you you do feel it it just not as bad so uh that's still a super important piece of equipment for anybody if you don't use one of those, not necessarily anybody, but something to protect that area, you're, you're playing with fire. So go grab something to help yourselves out. Um, let's talk about mouth guards. In my side pocket, I got all kinds of extra stuff. Um, as far as mouth guards go, I use the Sisu mouth guard. Um, I actually got two in here. Um, for a goalie, you don't need something super thick, but you need to be able to talk. Uh, I have no issues talking with these. They're kind of a pain in the butt to mold, but once you get them molded, um, they're great. You don't notice them, and you can speak clearly and cleanly, which is great uh, for a goalie who's trying to communicate with their defense. Uh, you don't sound like a mush mouth, which is awesome. Uh, lastly, let's talk about my stick. So this stick is an Adidas EQT Arrest. Um, I had to try this thing out. It looked really beefy, um, and I really wanted to try something different. I got a good deal on it. So I said, why not? So this stick uh, was amazing, actually. This head is awesome. It has a lot of the things that you want in a goalie head. It's super, super stiff. It's a little on the heavy side. Um, I know it has a little bit of that shield shape to it, but the shield cannot hold a candle to this stick. If people can get past the fact that it says Adidas on it and start accepting that maybe they're making decent equipment, uh, this thing is amazing. It's also super easy to string. This is the deepest pocket I think I've ever played with. I actually had a deeper pocket. I had to take it back a notch because it was just too deep uh, and I was having a hard time throwing. Uh, I'm using 12 diamond East Coast mesh. I really like the way those diamonds form uh, for goalies. And uh, it's sitting on my Savage X Pro Shaft, 7075 Pro Shaft, uh, the fire stick. Uh, shout out to my guy out at Savage X, David, he's awesome. So uh, that's what I use. That was the championship setup for this last summer. And if you have any questions about any of the gear you saw, please go ahead and contact me. I'll be happy to talk to you about it, um, as well as lots of other gear that I have used in the past or uh, know people that I've used. So until um, next time, Trey with Rougarou Lacrosse, keep laxing.